The track listing's all fucked up on this because they. I'll tell you about it in a second. That that the uh that's the twenty fifth anniversary one. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Them first four tracks don't count. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> what? Oh, they oh, put new jams on shit? the. Yes. They put, they put oh. new shit on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the beginning. <laughs> yeah, man. That's why I said the first four don't right. count, bro. Right. <laughs> you throw right. them at the end. All right. Are right, you ready? All right, let me let me do the cut. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Pizzo say one in my new shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> not now, nigga. We ain't come here for that. We didn't come not. Come here for that. <laughs> All right, Ice Cube Death Certificate, twenty fifth anniversary edition. This is what it's supposed to look like right here, but um, yeah. this is a new reissue, twenty fifth anniversary, from Urban Legends, and uh, it's got some bonus tracks on here, which we were just talking about. <laughs> um, New the real the real death certificate starts at the funeral people yes, yes. <laughs> it starts yes. at the funeral so <laughs> we're, we're gonna check out my summer vacation too this is one of yours because you said well let me go let me read what you wrote on twitter you said listen man i know people know ice cube now more for what he does in hollywood but he might have had the greatest three album run in rap history america's most wanted kill it will death certificate the predator so uh tell us about this uh for me um well first of all i'm i'm a the people I looked up to as writers are storytellers. I love storytellers. And the pa- the pictures that Q painted, um, it might be it might be the reason why I, I believe deep down in my heart that I might be uh from the West Coast. It's because yeah. of the pictures that Q painted. But um just with these albums, man, I mean f- from just from a production standpoint, how he started off with America's most and he went to the East Coast and got with the bomb squad. And then he took his squad, Sir Jinx, Pooh, and they came back west for a death certificate and they created their they own, own version. Squad. Yeah, they yeah. own yeah. Bomb Squad. They, yeah, yeah, they, you know, yeah. what they were inspired by. And yeah. this is how yeah. he was able to continue that um, through through the Predator as well. It's just the storytelling in these, just the, the, the production, yeah. the aggressiveness, the energy, mm-hmm. just all those different things, man. That's what the, the, the three album plus one EP run that Cube had, man, is. Uh, yeah. It's unmatched. Like, yeah, 100%. I, I think people, even at that time, I don't think nobody really expected, you know, when he came out for him to do what he did. Just right. coming from NWA with that sounded like, and then for him to go mm-hmm. totally another direction. It was just, plus the pin was still, you know, legit. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it was amazing, man. Like, I loved, I still listen to these three albums like they came out last week. Yep. And the yep. thing with that, too, is like, it also showed, why well, I have, first and foremost, I always have said if Ice Cube would have died after death certificate, he would have been Tupac. Right. Ooh, good point. Good point. You know what yeah. I mean? Like if, if for, mm-hmm. for him to get cut off right then, I yeah. mean it would have been. And also, you can maybe say if if Pac would have lived, he could have been Cube. You know what I mean? Because I definitely right. saw yeah, Pac yeah. going yeah. more yeah. into the movies and yeah. acting and stuff like that. But the thing with Cube, with this song in particular, to me, this is when Cube became a, a screenwriter. Right. Because my summer vacation is the record I'd listen like whenever young MCs like want ask me about like records of study whatever I'm like dude go listen to my summer vacation that is a that shit is a movie every yeah. verse tells a part of the story yeah. it's got everything rising action climax falling action like I mean that is a perfectly executed screenplay in three minutes and change yeah I, w- I mean I would say that these albums are very cinematic they're like movies I mean. Absolutely. To the, to the point where even the skit, I mean, it's they're, they're, they're produced in a way, you know, starting from that Bomb Squad production on, on America's Most Wanted and even into the next three, they're into they're they're done in a way where it's like one long piece of music mm-hmm. with, the, with the skits like really sew it together. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like one yeah. big cinematic event. And it was like an annual thing. And I remember like <laughs> when the new Ice Cube thing came out, you were like, oh, shit, you know, and like, yeah. And it's, I, it was like that until I mean, because the thing too, like kind of the echo what Pooh was saying with his pen, Ice Cube going solo, it really highlighted how much NWA oh, well, needed no. him. Yeah. Like, because <laughs> when because when Niggas for Life came out, it was like, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? Like they kind of just became silly and over the top, and mm-hmm. Cube was really kind of the grounding. Like, you know, he was the he was the intelligence, you know, what I mean, like he was kind of the analyst. But without him, you didn't really have that balance. You know, what I mean, and you really heard that on on niggas for life. 
and with those three albums, you also hear the hunger, the cube mm-hmm. still yeah. like he was going for his. Yes, it almost sounded like he felt like he had something to prove. Oh, totally, he did. He did. And, yeah, and he did. <laughs> but, but even I mean, like still like the the uh, you know death certificate you're like okay dude we 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 believe you like we got we understand but like he just just kept going and yeah i and i'll also echo what you guys saying about the uh like the three album run i would i would put it up against and who might you might you know kick me out of the shot after i say this but uh (laughs) you know uh three feet high and rising (laughs) you knew i was gonna say right yeah oh damn stakes is high it's like the same type of thing I'm not gonna say yeah, try. I'm not gonna Tribe, say yeah. you know, I'm not gonna say you know which is better. I mean, I was a huge Cube fan. I'm in Vegas, yeah. so you know. Okay, so for me, Q- okay, so my question, y'all, when did you jump off the Cube train? Like, like, like you were saying, Pizzo, like, you know, okay. it was always the Cube thing. All so right. for me, like, I noticed, like, because Cube was one of the greatest. He was one of the greatest, like, people that could like pull a. He would switch it up like every record. He played like every card. So like every co- every album was a new cube. So like America's Most Wanted, that was Gangsta Cube. Right. And then like Death Certificate was Muslim Cube. Right. Yeah. And then you know Predator was Skater Cube. Right. And then Lethal was Injection was G Funk yeah. Cube. Yeah. And then right. War and Peace was Magician Cube. <laughs> <laughs> like it just it just got it just went to places. <laughs> that we, I was like, okay, what the fuck is going on here? Like so, when Mr. Right. Short Cop showed up, I was like, okay, I think this, <laughs> this maybe my, this maybe yeah. my last stop on the train. <laughs> Man, it's it hurts, it hurts because I mean, I, like like those uh, those first four albums are like religion, you know what I mean? Like they're yeah, so absolutely. good, and absolutely. and even Lethal Injection. Like I started to see him like go a little bit, but I still like mm-hmm. Lethal Injection, but. No, really though was still a, a record. Really though was though. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. All, all, you tons know, the records on it. Yeah, and Le- Lethal Injection is is definitely G Funk Q, but yeah, it's still strong. <laughs> but but, but it, <laughs> the thing is, when you listen to G, I mean to G Funk Q, and then you go to Yay Yay Q, that's it. <laughs> you appreciate G Funk Q even more. <laughs> like, Yo. You Chief hit the nail on the head. In that bag. <laughs> like, you get, the minute he said but, yay, yay, yeah, yeah. Is, is, I was like, done. That was the line of demarcation. <laughs> like, yeah. that was, that's I, it. I, was, I was done uh, before Lethal Injection. I think Predator was the love sex scene. Yes. I, yeah, bro, I was, thank Pete. Yeah, Lethal Injection, you know, yes. yes. I'm like, I'm good. I'm done with this guy. Yeah, but I like the, West Side Predator. Connection. Oh, I did. I was. I was never feeling West Side. I like the West Side Connection. Yeah. So, so it's uh, so it's interesting here because y'all are in Vegas. Y'all on the West Coast. Yeah. I was covering one of my homies. Yeah. Where you worked that record? I worked West Side Connect. Never like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was to us on the East. Like I was, um, my man DJ Artistic that I was. Uh, I, I shouted out earlier that he does his uh, IG live. He does like West Side Wednesdays and stuff. And he was just playing a bunch of shit. Like, I mean, he played like an hour of West Coast records I've never heard in my life. And he was playing stuff off like the first like West Side Connection album. And it was just over here on the East Coast in the South, those records, they didn't really translate. But out West where y'all was at, I mean, them shits was going off. And so I was just curious to know what was it like uh, okay. around in the, out there for y'all? I think I think the whole West Coast, uh, that whole era, you know, I think gave people on the West Coast something to claim because New York mm. hip hop was such a New York thing. I mean, I don't care what anyone said, it was such a New York thing. And the West Side Connection and all that stuff just gave us something to cling to and say, this is us. But personally, being, uh, you know, Vegas, basically on the West Coast, I, after, like, for me, West Coast Love was going, it was great, great, great. And then right after Predator, or right in the middle of Predator, I just, ooh, mm-hmm. I, I, I hid. And then the Dog, <laughs> Pound, the Dog Pound album came out, and I was like, yo, yeah. what? what yeah. Come on, hey. The Dog Pound album is what woke me up again. But at, mm. in between there, I was like, yeah, I don't want to hear any of this. Wow. We be clubbing. Wow. And we pushing, be clubbing. Pushing weight. <laughs> Push runs like weight. Uh, yo, I was. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't mad at Weeby Club. I, I think I like yeah, yeah, yeah. Weeby Clubbing was like a dope record. It was a dope club record, and it in the was club. like <laughs> in, the, in club. the club. It, yes, it in worked. the club. That's it. I think like, I think where like, it kind of where we kind of got is a little rocky. By the time he got the you can do it, put your back into it. That was okay. I was like, those right. three. Those three. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> is, it, is that a separate record? Wait, you got pushing weight. You got you. Can we be clubbing, it, and, and we you be can clubbing. do it. Yeah. 
Well, it's it's kind of like when you like hear the unholy uh, trinity. When you hear, you know, <laughs> you, you hear you hear uh, you know one love nos, and then all of a sudden you hear firm biz. You're like, yeah, okay, I'm done. Like, all right, <laughs> all, right all right, fair enough. But those yeah. records were such a far departure, man. Like, I mean, he was talking about real shit and like had this cinematic albums, and then he just comes with yay yay, and I was just like. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm see, but see, that's that. That also coincides with the time he really, really got into Hollywood. Like, true, he, mm-hmm. he had he had dipped his toes in it, but that's when he was really in it. So obviously, the content wasn't going to be as aggressive, as militant, as you know, as as death certificate, a predator. Right, yeah, right, right, right. yeah, yeah it, could, it couldn't be yeah, any yeah. of those. So true. Yeah, um, I, yeah. I remember I had a um back in one of the Gavin conventions. I had a um I had a long conversation with Positive K. Um, oh wow. Yeah, and we, we were talking, and I think I was, you know, I was hardcore underground, keep it real. Yeah, 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 that was all day for me. And I was, we were talking about MC Light. I was like, what happened to MC Light? MC Light this, MC Light that. And I remember we were sitting in this room, and he looked at me, and he was like, you know, bro, he's like, you know, after you make a record and you become, you know, semi popular and everything's going well, like, you know, you move to a different house, you're in a different neighborhood. He goes, dude, you're just not as like it's just a whole different environment. He's like, you're, you're not, not the same person anymore. Not, yeah, he's like, right. you're not as hungry. You're, you know, you're not talking about this, that, and the other because you're not doing this, that, and the other anymore. So it's he goes, you just kind of grow out of it. He goes, everyone, and I never forget when he was. It was so honest. He was just telling me like, yo, man, you just grow out of it. Like I don't live in that mm-hmm. house anymore. I don't take the train. I have my car now. Like I have, you know, mm-hmm. I got three kids now. Like it's. And I think that's a perfect example of what happened to Cube. Um, and, you know, he's had great success. And, and I, I love what he's doing as an entrepreneur and stuff. But like you said, those three albums, man. Woo. That was it. Yeah. That was Woo. it. All right. That was it. There it is. Ice Cube, Death Certificate. Sorry, Cube. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>